Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to come up with uh, more questions from customers. This is the second video in the series of these. And I usually take three questions out of my inbox and put them up here and hopefully they'll be helpful to you and maybe the, the explanation of the questions will help you with your situation. So the first one, I bought over 5,000 in absorption panels from a competitor and my low end is still horrible. We get this a lot and there's a couple reasons for this. One, the absorption rates and levels of the products that they uh, advertise are not accurate. And the salesmen that sell these products are misleading people in a lot of inst uh, installations and inst uh, situations. I've actually called some of our competitors and acted like a customer and listened to the advice that they give me, knowing that full well the suggestions they're making are not going to work at all for that particular situation. So. I can't imagine if that's the advice they're giving that there's not a lot of disgruntled people out there, and there are. There's a lot, because we get calls from them every day. So I bought all this, I put it in my room, and my low end is still horrible. So what's the big problem? Well, you bought products that had a specific rate and level of absorption. Okay, did they go low enough? to match the usage in your room. Did they take care of the low frequency energy problems in your room? Did the people that sold you the product make a correlation between your problem, your usage, and your solution? No, they're selling you boxes. They generate revenue for themselves, not to solve your particular problem. Did they ask what your problem was? Did they ask your room size? Did they ask you if you had a room response measurement? Did they ask you the height, width, and length of your room? Did they ask you what you're doing in the room? Probably not. Okay, so this is the problem. They may have sold you what they thought was the best solution, but if they don't have information to base that decision on, they're selling you a tactic to solve a strategy that they don't know about. So keep that in mind. We're, we're going to ask you questions, then you're going to get tired of answering them. But in the end, you're going to have a solution that works. In 10 years of doing this, I've never had a product come back, and we offer a 30-day free, complete, 100% refund if you're not satisfied. In 10 years, I've never had that happen. Because we take the front-end time to look at what you're trying to do, Look at your room. That's why I always have you fill out the room form because it gives me a picture of where you're at. Then I take that picture and I put it in my database and I probably have your room in my database. So I actually have a database of rooms that I built and measured. So I probably have your room in my database. So you won't get number one from us. You get it from a lot of other people. Let me tell you another story. I had a doctor in Jamaica call me. He bought over $10,000 worth of product from a competitor, put it in his room. He says, it's horrible. The low end's horrible and it's too dead. So they didn't do anything to address the low frequencies and they overabsorbed on the middles and highs. He spent $10,000. So for, I said, doc, did they ask you the room size and volume? Did they ask what you were doing in the room? No. Well, there's your problem. What, were his, what was his room dimensions? 12, 12, 12. And we all know that that's a coincidental room which means that his problems are amplified by 400% on the average. With three dimensions the same, about 800%. So he has a room that you can't treat. They would have known that if they asked the dimensions of the room. So now he's out 10 grand. So what are we going to do? He's going to send all that back and we're going to knock out a wall and get some proper dimensions to start with. Don't use tactics. Get a strategy, okay? If I only have budget for two walls of carbon, which walls do I use? A lot of people use our carbon technology on new builds and they build it into the structure that's themselves. Lots of advantages to that. Cost, space. You don't have a bunch of freestanding uh, boxes sitting around in your room taking up space. And we can do the calculations. We can actually tune that stud space to that frequency and amplitude of problem in the room. So if 
you only have budget for two walls and our carbon technology runs between three and five thousand a wall 15 to 20,000 for an average room but the performance is incredible so you just want to make sure that you if you're on a limited budget which ones which walls do we knew well you're going to have to help me help you with that but we're going to focus on the axle modal pressures because those are the greatest axle modal pressures are between two parallel surfaces front and rear both sides floor and ceiling so we'll just have to see what your usage is what your pressure level is how many sources in the room too many variables to go into for this video but we'll help you figure that out okay Two walls are better than zero, believe me. How do I decide which prime number diffusion to use? We get this question a lot. It's all about distance from um, surface areas, from walls. And it's also about uh, usage, you know. Vocal rooms are different than two channel listening rooms. Control rooms are different than live rooms. So it just depends on the usage and what you're trying to accomplish. So just call us or send us an email. Make sure we have all your information on your room form. Because the first thing I'm going to do when you ask me that question is I'm going to say, send me the data on the room form. So I can take a picture of where you're at, look at your distances, your usage, your problems in the room, and I'll be able to tell you which prime number sequence to use. So what are our prime number sequences in diffusion? Seven, 11. 13, 17, 19, 20, 23. Prime number is a number that's divisible by itself in one only. Okay, that's how we uh, qualify the diffusion sequences, especially for quad quadratic. So I hope this format helps you. If you see some things in here or they prompt a question that you need answered yourself, shoot me an email. Thank you. Thank you for watching our videos. We really appreciate your support. And if you could give us a thumbs up for our Facebook page, that would really be helpful to us. A room form uh, gives us all the information about your room, length, width, height, usage, and we need you to fill that out before you send it in. Those of you that just found us on the internet and are under a time crunch, you can go to the contact section of our website and there's a book now button so you can book a appointment with us but make sure I have your uh, room form to go on with it. The ebook series that we have is free. Please subscribe to that. There's exclusive videos in there so you can get a, an idea of uh, you, your particular situation possibly with the videos. And then our forum. We have a forum on our website. There's a lot of forums out there on the internet. Our forum will, will I'll actually answer your questions and, and comments so you'll be dealing directly with me through our forum. So, once again, thank you for your support.